Hi, I'm Paul Manctelow. As a vet in a busy small animal practice, I often see dogs with sore eyes. Today is the second part of our three-part series called Vision Matters. And today we're going to be focusing on how to recognise problems with your dog's eyes. I'll be showing owner Debbie how to examine a dog and pick up any issues with the eyes nice and early. So I'm here with Debbie. Hello Debbie. Hello Paul. And who's this? This is Alfie. Hello Alfie. How's Alfie doing today? He's good, thank so you. Good. So eyes are very, very prone to rapid deterioration. So it's really important that you, you notice problems early because long-standing problems can cause, cause blindness. How would I check Alfie's eyes? So the most important thing is to understand what's, what's normal. Um, are his eyes the same size? Is there symmetry between them? Um, is there any sign of, of swelling in either, either of the eyes or both of them, first of all? Uh, and the second thing is, does, does the eye look painful? Um, is, he, is he squinting? Is he rubbing the eye? Is he holding it closed? And the whites of the eyes are very important as well because they should be white. And if they're, you know, they're red or they look sore or inflamed, uh, then actually that's a sign that there is a problem going on there. And, uh, and finally, obviously, discharge. If there's anything seeping from the eyes, that's a sign that it's not quite right. Owners know their dogs really well, so the first sign of a problem is I think it's time to investigate. Yeah, so what, what are the most common eye problems you see? I guess the most common ones are conjunctivitis, eye infections, uh, corneal ulcers and dry eye, which is one of the most common conditions in dogs. Um, it's important that you know about these conditions so that you know to seek veterinary attention straight away. Ulcers can be a real problem to the eye and they actually occur when the surface of the eye is damaged. So they can be quite superficial uh, when it's just the, the top layer of the cornea that's injured, but they can also be quite deep when the, you know, the deep stromal layers are injured and they can be you know, really, really painful painful. So it's really important that you, you recognise the signs of ulcers really, really quickly because they can progress quite rapidly. Um, and when you go to your vet, they'll want to diagnose them by putting a special stain in the eye uh, and that will show up where the injured parts of the cornea are, where the ulcer is. So what are the signs of an ulcer? I think the first sign of an ulcer would be pain. So um, you'd probably see Alfie there with one eye closed um, and that would be the, the, the eye that had the, the problem. But also you might get a very watery eye as well because it's, uh, it's quite a painful condition. So what should I do if I think Alfie's got any of these problems? So if you're worried about Alfie's eyes at all, then contact your vet practice for advice. Okay, thank you. So thank you for bringing Alfie in today. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Much. So in our next episode, we'll be covering the clinical signs, the diagnosis and treatment of a very common canine problem, which is dry eye.